So I will tell you straight up, my surgeon did not give me this 30 inch waist. Well, if you do, then you know, don't come out like you know. What is up guys? I know it has been a long time. Your girl is back with another video. If you guys are not aware, I have been like on this quarantine weight loss type of journey. Um, and I recently posted a video and a lot of you guys noticed that I had just recently gotten snatched. You guys blew up my comments um, and my DMs. Uh, I figured that I would bring you guys along. I asked you guys, did you want like a sit down video or a vlog style? The majority of all the, um, votes that came in were vlog style so i decided to go ahead and bring a vlog style type video to you guys to explain exactly how it is that i've been getting snatched honey first things first is this right here so this right here is called elevate it comes in a pack um i'll show you guys the other so it comes like with this and it also comes with the elevate so the elevate is a thermogenic um you take it uh one pill in the morning and then this is at nighttime it's a white pill and a purple pill i already have a pack open let me show you guys what it looks like here's the white pills here's the purple pills um, and you pretty much take those at nighttime. Uh, those pills help you kind of restore and revive and just kind of get your body back on track um, to get prepared for the next day. And the Elevate is pretty much for focus, energy. Um, like I said, it's a thermogenic. So if you guys do not know what thermogenic means, I'm gonna put it a description of what thermogenic means. So I take this one pill in the morning time. Let me go ahead and take that and then I'll explain uh, more so about this pill. What it's designed to do, um, well, what it's been doing for me, it's been helping me to stop with my bloating. I am loving that. It honestly helps curb my appetite and it helps keep me regular with my bowel movements. So this may be TMI, but I'm just letting you guys know the real raw truth. Um, so pretty much I used to be like a once a day or once every other day uh, type of girl. But with this right here, like with these two right here, baby i'm like maybe three four times a day so that is all the supplements that i have been taking so i know you guys are going to ask me like okay ray like where can i get this supplement so with the supplement it's like a thing where you have to be like invited i'm gonna see if i can maybe like put the link down below like that i go through to get my product but yeah you have to be invited to get the product and then you sign up for the product and then it comes to you um as far as in shipping it takes about a good solid two weeks because you guys know with all this stuff that's going on in the world shipping has been very very delayed i know my last package it took really like a good 14 days not including weekends you know so if you guys do order this then just know that um it may take a little while to get in but so this these pills are called um from a company called be epic be E P I C. So one of my coworkers uh, was telling me about it at that time. She had lost 12 pounds um, and she really needed it for like focus and just to kind of, you know, get her energy up and things like that. So I was like, shoot, I want to try it out. So I tried it out and y'all, I am down 12 pounds. Your girl is 160. With that uh, pill that I take in the morning time, you do have to take about eight ounces of water with it. Um, so the packet that you guys see me get, it's like a country time lemonade packet. 
and I just get a plain bottle of water. I pour the packet in the water and I drink on this throughout the whole time that I'm working out. So there are times that I don't take this pill. If you guys do not know, I'm a registered nurse and I've been working outside like in the COVID areas. Um, so if I'm working out there or outside, I don't do this pill. I don't do this pill because it, like I said, it's a thermogenic and when I'm outside working in the heat and I'm sweating, it just makes me feel kind of weird. I don't know what it is, but it just makes me kind of feel weird. So I don't do it. Um, also, if I'm taking this pill, I don't do coffee with it. Um, once again, it just makes me feel kind of weird. Like as if I need to get up, move around, go do something, go burn off some energy. It just makes me feel kind of weird. Also with this pill, I realized that I have to eat. Whether it be like a protein bar, like that Nature Valley oats and honey bar, the one that gets crumbs everywhere, you know, that type of bar. So I'll, I'll have to eat with this. Not, it'll just make me feel kind of weird, like nauseated. Um, and I learned that because at first I was trying to do fasting in the morning time. So I would take the pill, drink the water and not have anything to eat on my stomach. And it just kind of made me feel weird. And I just realized it. And there was a time where I drank my coffee in the morning and I took the pill and I realized it. And then there was a time that I worked outside and I took the pill and I kind of realized like, hey, this ain't a go. I would say first, if you have any type of medical conditions or problems or anything like that, please check with your physicians. I personally do not have any health problems, um, so I decided to try it out. All right, so got my almond butter biscuit and I got the rest of my drink, which I need to get another bottle of water so I can have it when I work out. I gotta get some more water. Okay, so now what I'm about to do is put these shoes on and Head out. So I am in my vehicle and i am about to put my waist trainer on that is one thing that i have been doing so throughout the day pretty much every day i waist train um especially when i'm working out because it just helps me sweat and lose more weight off of my waistline so this uh waist trainer that i got came from amazon it's like one of those stretchy latex ones it doesn't really have the boning in it and that's what i like to work out in if you guys do not know i used to be my waistline used to be 36 inches um i measured myself and once i started like this weight loss journey which i've been on it since um i, I want to say a few months after quarantine um had started because i realized that i was 172 pounds and I was like, girl, you got you got to do something like I was just so surprised that I had gained that much weight. I was just so surprised that I had gained that much weight because I was cooking more so at the house. So with me cooking at the house, um, it just made it to where I was just gaining a whole bunch of weight. That's another thing that I would tell you guys is that the biggest lesson that I learned is that you have to pay attention to your body. And what I mean by that is this. So whenever I was cooking at home, I was cooking a lot of things that had like a a lot of starch like pastas uh potatoes um you know things like that so whenever i would eat those type of foods my stomach would just bloat up really really bad like it would look like your girl was pregnant like at one point my husband was like are you pregnant like your stomach's poking out and i'm like yeah i know i'm not pregnant but i'm just bloated that bad so i really start paying attention to that and i start i start shying away from those foods that really um just made me bloat that bad i used to have waiter bring me McAllister's every day to work and so i always got a baked potato like you can ask my co-workers i got a baked potato and i probably got the country potato soup like i'm a potato girl but i realized that they were contributing me they were contributing to the weight gain and i had to stop it i cut that out like i'm not saying like i completely cut it out my diet but i wasn't having it like every single week you get what i'm saying so um it's i'm learning to do things in moderation and you know 
I feel like when once you cut stuff completely out your diet, it begins to be so hardcore and something that you can't follow. So I, I just kind of cut back on how much I consume. Um, so that was one thing that I listened to my body about. And then the second biggest tip that I can give you guys is that only eat when you're hungry. So for me, I only ate because you know that was the that was the normal thing to do it was a ritual it was a habit for me to wake up and eat something it was a ritual or a habit for me to go eat with my friends at like 11 or 12 or you know maybe like one o'clock at the latest you know um and it was a ritual for me to come home and eat again so i got to the point where i was just kind of like you know like it, it really dawned on me whenever i was out and about and i was running errands one day on my off day and I made it all the way to freaking three o'clock without having any breakfast. I was like, if I can do that, then there's no way that I can't do it while I'm at work. So here lately, I've been listening to my body and I only eat whenever my stomach tells me that it's hungry. I know it sounds crazy and just kind of like a bunch of hoopla, but honestly, pay attention to your body. I know for me, I was only eating because, like I said, it was a ritual, it was a habit. Like, oh, my friends would be like, hey, you ready to go eat? It's like 11.30, you wanna go? And so I would be like, okay, cool, I'm not really hungry, but I'll go just so I can like hang out with my friends and eat and talk. I will say this, when I get home, I try not to eat past nine o'clock. I wouldn't say that I don't fast, I do like a moderation. Like, I'm tailoring everything to me, cause so what works for me is the fact that I have to eat like a protein bar or something like that in the morning time and then I don't eat all the way up until about two or three o'clock but throughout that time I normally will have like something to drink whether it be like a tea um, or I'll have the water with the packet in it you know just something to kind of keep my body like oh, okay hey I'm full you get what I'm saying so today I will show you guys like what I eat after my workouts uh, which I typically try to eat something healthy um, but yeah so I'm gonna show you guys what I eat and we are about to get going hey feel I'm in the mood for a switch up I hit the function hit the rose right till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up she picture perfect so I told him I'm a flicker Bill I'm in the mood for a change up I leave the city and return with my change up They got amnesia don't remember how they played us They wanna knock me down but somehow I just stay up Look, straight from the mud like Ruby, Ruby. Straight to the stage they love me. love me I understand they hungry yeah. but please don't hate that's ugly I've yeah. been sliding, shaking, moving, I've been popping in my city well, okay. Shawty say she love the way we do it, do it with me I be too turned up to ever give a fuck yeah, yeah. I ain't come to argue, let a nigga fuck please, They been talking pennies, I need bigger pucks About to catch a flight, I need to switch it up okay. Got that black boy joy, might do my dance on me hey, Take no disrespect, might put my hands on my him Get this chick and now she wanna marry me but she gon' need some closure and some therapy no way. Came back to the city with my bank account on F Giving rappers hell, I know they happy that I left Hit the south in winter, I just put down my deposit 82 degrees, I left that jacket in my closet Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a stick up She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flick up Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up I leave the city and return with my change up They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up Hey, look, came in with the what's that? What the Left out with the who she? Yeah. Laying game like 2D, I been kicking shit like Bruce Lee okay. Margarita to the brim tip, black denim need a slim fit yeah. Same people that I flex with be the ones that I'm in the gym with I'm a living legend, you a dead cause and I'm dead ass, no I'm dead right Leave her early but I'm her night, long and short to keep the head right 
teed up out in Malibu, got sand all in my good shoes. Press a nigga with the pessimism, but I only came for the good news. I am the show that they came for, hitting the target I aim for. We've been discussing the contract, just telling they get what they paid for. I am not fucking with poverty, really it started to bother me. I need the yacht with the property, they come with the view that you gotta see. Came up from the basement, hit the rooftop with a passion. Bad bitch with some good credit and a good sense for the fashion. Dope blowing with the left hand, ass gripping with the right hand. Over share to the airport, I'ma hit you back with my flight. Man. I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'ma flick up. What is up guys? I am back at the house. I had to go run a few errands. Um, I got my car detailed and I went and got some laundry detergent and stuff like that from uh, Sam's Club. If you guys do not know about the Sam's Club app where you can do like the scan and go stuff, like you are totally missing out. So pretty much all you do is walk up to the item and you scan the back of the barcode right there. And then once you're done shopping and scanning your stuff, you select uh, check out. And then at the door, you just show the lady your phone uh, because it brings like up a little barcode. And it brings up a barcode. So it's 100% it's the best invention ever. Like I didn't have to wait in line. That's the biggest thing is that I didn't have to wait in freaking line. I just went in there, got the laundry detergent, came right on out. So I was in and out in like less than, less than three minutes. All right, y'all, so I'm back from the gym and I just wanted to come back on before um, I hopped in the shower just to let you guys know. Like, so when I wear my waist trainer, it helps me form um, more so of like my abs. It helps me keep my core tight. So that's why I love wearing my waist trainer because as you guys can see, you can kind of see um, the ab formation and stuff forming. Um, and this morning, my tights, they weren't this tight. Uh, well, they weren't this loose, should I say, so. What is up, people? Hang on, let me prop you guys up some more. So perfect, perfect, perfect. So what is up guys? I'm in my home office. If you guys do not know this area, then you must not be a OG subscriber to me. So I'm gonna need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. I know a lot of you guys also wanted like a sit down type of video, so I will go ahead and jump right into that right now. Just a few frequently asked questions um, that I know you guys may ask. Um, how often do I work out? I work out about two to three times out the week, at least twice. At the very minimum, I work out at least twice. Um, and I work out anywhere from like 30 minutes to a hour or hour and a half, just depending on how much time I got. Pretty much, I'm just hopping to random machines that I feel like will help me get the best result. So with me, I'm not trying to lose weight all over because of course, you know that if you're doing a whole lot of cardio, then you guys will lose fat all over. So right now what I'm trying to do is target my fat. Um, and so that's why I'm doing a lot of exercises that builds up the glutes, um, it builds the hips, and it builds up the booty. That, those are the specific exercises that I typically like to do. Now I do end my workouts with jogging on the treadmill, but that's just more so for me to kind of get used to jogging and being able to do that type of thing. So it's not nothing that necessarily I always do, um, it's just something that I've just been trying out. As you guys know, I'm really trying to get that really, really small waist and that super big, nice, juicy bubble butt. Um, if you guys do not know, I did have a BBL. I had my BBL over like two years ago. I will tell you this, and I hope you guys are listening. Those of you that want a BBL, those of you that already have a BBL schedule, those of you that just got a BBL, I hope this resonates with you what I'm about to say. When you go get your surgery, 
um, it is pretty much like a jump start or a head start. Um, if you guys do not know, I did weigh about 190 whenever I decided to get the BBL done. After I got the BBL done, um, I think my lowest weight, which is right now, is 160. Um, I am five foot four and I'm 160 pounds. Um, but yeah, so that's been my lowest weight. After the surgery, I wanna say I weighed my range was anywhere from like 165 to like 175. I know some of you guys may want to know when my, uh, I did go to Mia Aesthetics, Dr. Uh, I forgot what his name is, but he's the owner of Mia Aesthetics. So I got my surgery done by him. They did inject about 1500 cc's each cheek. I believe that's right. Um, I did not stay at a recovery home and I did get the massages to kind of contour my body as well. So all of that is all we're now in the present. So what I'm about to say to you guys is that your, your surgeon just gives you a jump start to your body. I hate it when people have that mentality like, <laughs> No sis, no. You will not be set. Your surgeon just gives you a jump start. So pretty much he gives you like a head start of, uh, of this weight loss journey. So if you have not tailored or changed your eating habits, then guess what? I'm sorry, sweetie, but you're gonna balloon right back up. So if you're steadily eating pizza, um, hot dogs, chili dogs, corn dogs, um, you know, mozzarella cheese sticks, eating um, mashed potatoes all the time, uh, chicken fried steak, like, you know, you're really just packing on the pounds and stuff like that. If you're, if you still have those bad eating habits and guess what, they're gonna continue whenever you are post-op for your surgery. And I hate to tell you the truth, but honey, that will blow you up quicker than anything. So you have to make for sure that you at least try to adhere to your diet. So you have to make for sure that you at least try to get some type of diet or workout regimen. Like I said before, I am 160. And so if you guys want to know my measurements, before I started my workout journey, I was like a 38, um, like around in my bra area. My waist was like a 36 and my hips were a 44. At that time, I was like 172 pounds right around, like I, I wanna say like around April or May whenever I started this weight loss journey. Um, and right now it's August the 25th. Those were my measurements and now my measurements and I just got measured the other day because I'm at my cousin's wedding. Um, but yeah, so my measurements in the bra area is a 35, my waist is a 30 and my hips are a 43. So I will tell you straight up, my surgeon did not give me this 30 inch waist. I had to work for it. I don't know if you guys know Aaliyah's face, but um, pretty much she really motivated me to do this weight loss journey because I was really seeing how her body just changed and actually shaped up. So I highly advise you guys to go check out Aaliyah's face here on YouTube because you can see her transformation. Like, don't get me wrong, her body was good before she started her weight loss journey, but now, Sis body is banging. And so I was just kind of like, at first I was just kind of shy and timid to even start working out because for one, I didn't, I really didn't know the machines. I didn't know how to work them. Um, I was just afraid that people were gonna laugh at me, that I didn't know what I was doing. All right, y'all, so my camera died. So pretty much where I left off is that um, the reason why I wasn't hitting the gym beforehand was because I was just really intimidated because I didn't know the equipment in the gym. I really just didn't wanna look like I didn't know what I was doing, even though I didn't know what I was doing. But um, but yeah, so I finally decided to get over there. It's like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna hit the gym and on each machine, um, they have like what the machine is designed to do, like what area the machine is uh, designed to target, um, like what muscle group is designed to target, should I say. And it'll also kind of tell you pretty much how to use the machine. Um, so those things is what I look at whenever I'm trying to figure out how to use a new machine. Um, but yeah, so I just dove right on in and I started hitting the gym. And now I honestly love the gym. like. Today, I just worked out today. I wanna to say about an hour, 15 minutes, and I'm feeling like I wanna go back for a second session, y'all. That's how much in love I am with the gym. But yeah, so like I was saying earlier, seeing Aaliyah's face, seeing her glow up and her transformation really just motivated me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but watching other people 
hit the gym and actually see their results and seeing their journey um, actually motivates me. So I literally will go to Aaliyah's, like um, whether it's her YouTube or whether it's her Insta stories and just pretty much get myself motivated to get up and go to the gym. That is one thing that I will say is to just kind of look around YouTube and Instagram and just find somebody that you feel like motivates you to just kind of get up and get going. Um, another thing that motivated me is that I started seeing my results. How often I measure myself and weigh myself. I weigh myself every day. If you guys saw in the video, I'm even working my lats and stuff like that. Pretty much like the back fat area right here. I'm working that muscle group so I can cut down on some of that bra fat or bra rolls. Seeing my results and just really having it hit home for me and knowing that I'm only five pounds away from my goal weight really just put it into perspective for me. Y'all, like I started when I was like 172 and I was just really devastated. And now here I am, I'm at 160 and I'm five pounds shy of my goal weight. Um, if you guys do not know, I was 155 pounds in high school. Even if I could just tap into the 150s like y'all, that would motivate me so much more to go even harder in the gym because I'm seeing my progress. So as far as in foods, I touched on this earlier when I was headed to the gym. Um, like I said, in the morning times, I typically will have like a little protein bar and something to drink and I will have that uh, morning pill. If I do not take that morning pill, I will have a energy tea and a protein bar. And then I typically will try to wait to eat lunch around like maybe it has to be after one o'clock for me to eat. So in my very latest was around four, like I said earlier. So that's the time that I would eat my lunch. And then at nighttime, whenever I work, my shift ends at 6 p.m. So I typically like to eat anywhere from like eight to nine, no later than 9 p.m. And I sleep for the rest of the night. In between that time, like right now, I just had lunch at like 1.30. And right now it's 6 p.m. and I'm kind of hungry like it's like I'm craving something sweet. So I can count in a snack, which is that protein bar that I showed you guys earlier this morning. Um, like I said, with the almond bar, like I said, with the almond butter, it's kind of like a sweet cookie type of taste, even though it's like completely healthy. I uh, will get one of those here in just a minute and just kind of go with that. But I eat three times a day and I have like maybe a snack or two. Um, whether it be grapes, whether it be fruit, but I'm not hardcore keto and I'm not like hardcore dieting where I'm like doing my macros and micros and weighing my food and things like that. I'm just honestly listening to my body, not overeating um, and watching what I eat. I eat meaning that I know that carbs bloat me, so I'm not consuming a lot of carbs. I know that if I consume a lot of water or a lot of things to drink, um, that I won't be as hungry. So I'm trying to fill up on like my water and stuff like that to try to curb some of that hunger that I may be feeling. I feel so bad when I'm about to say this, but when I'm eating, I used to sit down and eat until my plate was completely finished because Growing up black, you guys know that we would get in trouble for not finishing our food. I know for our culture in particular, I don't know about any other cultures or, you know, if you're white, if that, if your parents did the same thing to you or if you're Hispanic and your parents did the same thing to you or if you're Asian and your parents did the same thing to you. But I know for the black culture, that is one thing that was beat in our head that we do not get up from the table until we're finished eating our food. So. I found myself overeating a lot, which was another culprit for me. So I would ignore my stomach telling my brain like, hey girl, I'm full. Let's, it's, it's a wrap, it's a wrap, let's, we're done. You know, because I had that stuck in my head, like, no, I need to finish my food. And now I actually feel bad looking back on it when I'm feeding the kids that like, who's to say that their stomach didn't sit in their brain a signal saying like, hey, we're done, we're finished, you know? And I'm sitting here forcing these kids to finish their food. So I know right now I'm trying to right my wrongs whenever it comes to that because I know that that could contribute to obesity and that can contribute to um, a weight gain. That's one thing that I'm trying to do is to listen to my stomach and whenever I feel full, I will stop right there 
pack up the food, whether it was, whether I had three tacos and I was only able to eat one, if I feel full, since I'm stopping the show right there, like I'm not doing it getting, I'm not doing it anymore. But yeah guys, so overall, I've seen results with this type of thing that I'm doing. This may not work for you guys, but my biggest takeaways that I can tell you guys is to please listen to your body. Don't try to overeat. Um, and pretty much pay attention to the foods that you know that actually bloats you and makes you actually just sluggish. Um, and try to not consume as many of those foods that you know actually bloat you. I'm letting you guys know that this can be done. Like you can be motivated to get in the gym and start losing that weight like you want it to. You can actually do it. You just have to be motivated and I promise you, once you start seeing those results, you're gonna want to continue to feed that hunger of getting better and better and better type of results. But if you guys have any more questions, if I left anything out, or if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in the video, please leave those comments down below. Please do not forget to subscribe for more videos. If you guys did like this type of video, um, please give this video a thumbs up so that way it lets me know that you guys like this type of content um, and I can keep making this type of content for you guys. But yeah, so I will see you nurse babes later and bye babes.